Our next competitor is from Northern California. She's been an elite athlete all of her life, former member of the United States national team for synchronized swimming. Six years ago, she found pole dance, fell head over stilettos in love. She was awarded the People's Choice Award for Queen Mary Pole Dance Championship and currently a cast member of the Pinup Pole Show in Los Angeles. She teaches pole dance, personal trainer, Northern and Southern California. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Tiffany Rose Muckler. I discovered pole in 2012. That's when I started taking my first classes and found out that it was a really great fit and that it combines music, my favorite thing in the whole world, and performance and dance and just human, human expression, which I just adore and uh, that I have a little bit of a knack for. Hi rock stars, I'm Tiffany Rose and today I'd like to teach you the gothic gargoyle. Pole dance and pole fitness and pole culture is so diverse. What comes through this door is men and women of all sizes, ages, shapes, you name it, for a variety of different reasons. I just feel so much more empowered as a woman. I feel stronger as a woman. I feel like I can take care of myself. We create a lot of opportunities for pole dancers, including becoming sponsored. We have about 23 brand ambassadors right now around the world who are um, professional competitors, and they are really brands in and of themselves. I got so many offers from people all over the world saying, hey, come teach at my pole camp, hey, come teach at my studio. And I'm like, uh, I have a job, like I can't just peace out on my job and go do this. But I was like, how stupid, like I wanna go to Brazil, I wanna go to South Africa, I wanna go to Europe. So I ended up leaving my engineering career after only like maximum I was there about a year and uh, I've been pole dancing professionally ever since, so about four or five years now, and I have not a single regret in the world at all. Pole is extremely empowering. Ask any pole dancer what their journey is to how they got here and how they became a professional pole dancer. It's a journey of a lot of self-discovery and balance and finding out what turns you on wholeheartedly, not what turns anyone else on, what anyone else thinks you should be doing but only what you feel is right to be doing right now for you. There's a lot of creativity, there's a lot of sensuality that's allowed in this sport. I love that. I feel like as women we um, tend to censor ourselves, so this gives us a platform to fully embrace our sensuality and our strength and our grace and our creativity.